Hi guys, I wanted you guys to check out my um, ice cream bean tree. I did a, I'm doing an update for it now. This is one of them and when I had the two plants, I had one nice pot and I wanted to plant the stronger one in the pretty pot and this was the strongest one of the two that I had. I'll show the other one in a second. And the thing about it was it has two stems that came from the seed. If you could see that, it's one stem right there and this is the other one. Um, this one seemed to have developed a lot quicker than a bottom stem, but I'm not used to seeing trees that sprout out that way. Um, I'm going to have to remove some of the damage that was caused by bugs eating it. That's the hard part about being an organic gardener. You deal with things like that. But um, the ice cream bean is a tree that has pods on it, and the pods contain um, what tastes like ice cream, little filling in it that tastes like ice cream. I've never tasted it. I've never seen any in person other than the ones that I grew. I just saw it on online or on the internet somewhere I was looking on somebody's video. I don't know. And I decided to try out the seeds. And um, when I got the seed, it was already partially sprouted. I only had two of them. And the second seed, this one grew immediately. It just took off. It was awesome. But the second one was eaten by some type of bug when it was in its early sprouting stage. So I thought that it wasn't gonna do well, but I didn't throw it out. But it did recover a bit. Here it is. Like the other one, it also has um, two stems at the bottom that come in, two trunks. And even though the bug had eaten it, it grew up anyway. One, um, one of the stems was stronger than the other. And it seemed after a while, both of them, the other one recovered. I guess one helped the other part of the plant get food. I don't know. I'm not a total expert on this, but, you know, I don't totally know the psychology of a plant. But this one is actually, it looks a little healthier because there's no um, insect bites on it. Everything's bright green. And my estimation was that this one would be the one that was healthier so I gave it the nicer pot but either way I appreciate both of them um they're about less I don't know I think I planted them in May <sighs> June July August September October November so they're about six months now but um they're growing beautifully and most of my plants I let stay outside until it got around 50 degrees I brought these in earlier because I don't know a whole lot about them and I don't have a growing light in my house. I just put them in my living room and I open up the window every now and then and they have been fine. The other plants that I have that I brought in the house, they didn't do as well in my home and they needed more direct light. So I'm going to have to get some growing lights. But these plants are pretty resilient and I appreciate them for that. And I'm hoping to keep them for years to come and I really do need to get it out of this ugly pot <laughs> since it does do so well. But anyway, if you have any questions or suggestions, if you have grown this plant yourself and you understand it a, a lot better than I do or know something I don't, just feel free to comment. Thank you, guys.